All right, welcome everybody. My name is Nora and I'm with Travel Leaders and I'm here to introduce Alexis from Universal Orlando. She's gonna be telling us all about the parks in Orlando. I think you're probably gonna talk about the resorts too, uh, the water parks, everything, everything that makes Universal, Universal Orlando such a wonderful family vacation. So thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat or the Q&A and I will try to uh, facilitate and get those answered live. So thanks for joining us, everybody. And I'm gonna turn it over to you, Alexis. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to share what we have going on at Universal Orlando. Um, it is a great destination for you all to come down and visit um, with your families and check out the amazing fun that we have. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you some of the great opportunities that you guys have when you're here. So first off, we're gonna talk about the resort as a whole. So Universal Orlando, uh, we do feature three great theme parks. Um, we do have Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay, our water theme park. Um, but it's so much more than just the theme parks themselves. Um, we do have a variety of different resort options from your value to your premiere. So you can stay in all different types of resorts, beautiful theming throughout, great amenities, and of course, not just at the parks, we also have Universal City Walk, which is a great place where you can spend a day when you're not at the park or even a day after the park. You can go out to dinner, there's nightlife, um, we have a movie theater, mini golf, so lots of fun for the whole family. Of course, we wouldn't be Universal Orlando without the Visiting World of Harry Potter. Um, this is a must do while you're here visiting with us. Um, so the Wizarding World does expand upon both of our parks. So first off, we have our Wizarding World and Harry Potter Hogsmeade. This is going to be in the Islands of Adventure Park. Um, so over here, we have some great attractions. Um, I'll go to in a little bit later. Um, this is the original Wizarding World that we first opened. Um, it's definitely a great one. It feels like you're walking through the heart of Hogsmeade. You'll see Hogwarts Castle. Um, you even get to go travel to it. Um, and even Hagrid will take you out to the Forbidden Forest. So a lot of fun to be had. Um, again, in the Hogwarts Castle, we have our Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey attraction. This is a great family-friendly attraction. Um, it feels like you're flying right alongside Harry. You're going to be in the Quidditch match. Um, you're going to have you're going to encounter dragons, the mentors, spiders. Um, it really is a crazy adventure, but so much fun for the whole family and a lot of really fun technology involved in this attraction. Also, within the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade, we have Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure, which did win 2020 Theme Park Insider Awards of Best New Roller Coaster. Um, the best way to explain this is like a story coaster. Um, you basically go out um, with Hagrid and you go into the dark forest and you're going to see Fluffy the Three-Headed Dog. Um, you're going to see Cornish Pixies. You'll see a blast and its fruit, which has not been seen um, at all in any of the movies, but it was actually in the Harry Potter films. Um, this coaster, coaster does feature seven launches, um, more than we've ever had in Universal before. Um, and then there also is a 17-foot um, vertical drop um, in this um, Devil's Snare. So a lot of really fun adventure awaits you at this attraction. Over in our Universal Studio side, we do have our Wizarding World and Harry Potter Diagon Alley. So this feels like you're just right in Diagon Alley. And of course, the very end, you have Green Gods Bank. Um, that you have the dragon on top um, and you have to watch out because it does blow fire every once in a while and it's definitely something you'll want to check out. When you're in the gun alley though, you want to check out Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. This is another great family-friendly attraction. Um, so you are going to go into Gringotts, which is the safest place on earth. So what could go wrong? Well, you do run into Bellatrix and he who should not be named, Lord Voldemort himself, um, as you're trying to escape them. Um, this is a roller coaster um, 3D kind of hybrid. Um, so it does have roller coaster and 3D elements involved. Um, it's a great attraction. Like I said, for the whole family, I definitely recommend adding this to your must-do list when you're here. And last but not least, we do have the Hogwarts Express. So you can feel just like Harry and Ron and Hermione, um, how they took the Hogwarts Express to Hogwarts we do have the Hogwarts Express here that actually will take you between Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, connecting both of the Wizarding Worlds. So uh, with a park-to-park -park admission ticket, you can ride the train from 
Diagon Alley to Hogsmeade and Hogsmeade to Diagon Alley. And it's a different story each way. So you'll definitely want to ride it in both directions, um, especially for all the Harry Potter fans. Um, you feel like you're right in the cabin alongside them. So definitely check that out in here. Um, great experience for the whole family. And right now you're able to go and you'll have the whole cabin to your whole party. So definitely want to check it out while you're there. And again, this is a great option too, because this doesn't have any height requirements, anything for this attraction. So again, it's great for everyone. So now we're going to kind of talk more. So again, Harry Potter is a great, you know, fun thing to do while you're universal, but we have so much more than just Harry Potter. So at Universal Studios Florida, we do have a bunch of different attractions here. So this is going to show you a map of the park here. Um, so we do have some roller coasters like Hollywood Revive Rocket and Revenge of the Mummy. Um, you'll have some 3D attractions like Shrek 4D, specifically Minion Mayhem, Race New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Um, and of course, you have some classics like our E.T. Adventure and Men in Black, Alien and Pack. So there's a, lots of different attractions for the whole family to enjoy. Some of those musty attractions, like I said, Wizarding World and Harry Potter, Diagon Alley, again, on that list. This big Minion in your mayhem, you can go ahead and see what kind of, you know, mischief the minions get themselves into. We have Transformers, the Ride 3D, where you help the Autobots defeat the Decepticons. Revenge of the Mummy, where you try to uh, get out of the curse of the Imhotep. Hollywood Fried Rocket, where you feel like you're filming your own music video with your own music background. And Fast and Furious Supercharged, if you're a fan of the film, you feel like you're right in the heart of the action. And of course, there's supercharged cars for you to check out. So again, if you like cars, you also want to check out Fast and Furious. Now, we're also going to talk about epic family attractions. So we do have attractions for the whole family. Um, we just opened recently um, the Born Spectacular, which is going to be a great, you know, blend 3D and technology. The Simpsons ride, again, if you're a huge Simpsons fan, it'll take you in the heart of spring. Men in Black Alien Attack is going to feel like, you know, what it's like to help save, um, become a galactic hero and save the uh, universe. We do have E.T. Alien Adventure, um, E.T. Adventure, which is a must do. I said. It's a classic. It's been there since the park opened. We have Shrek 4D, again, if you're a fan of the Shrek film. Um, 4D, again, elements where they have um, not just 3D, but again, it takes you to that fourth dimension element, so definitely check it out. And Race New York starring Jimmy Fallon. So if you've ever seen the late night show with Jimmy Fallon, he does um, race people in different types of vehicles. Well, here he has his night rider, and he'll race you through the streets of New York. So again, tons of fun for thrill rides and rides for the entire family. Next up, we have Islands of Adventure, which has won number one amusement park in the world for five years in a row. Um, there is some really great attractions here. As you can see an overview of the park, um, we do have our Marvel superhero island with attractions such as the Incredible Hulk, Dr. Doom's Fearfall. Um, we do also, again, we said the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade. We also have Goose Landing, which will feature the Cat in the Hat attraction, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, the High in the Sky Seas Trolley Ride, and we do have Jurassic Park River Adventure, so if you have any Jurassic Park fans. So lots of different attractions. Um, again, the must be so the ones that you're going to want to try to see while you're here. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade, The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man puts you right in the act, middle of the action. The Incredible Hulk Coaster, um, you can go from zero to 70 in just a few seconds flat. Um, Scott Island, Reign of Kong puts you right up and close with Kong himself. And Jurassic Park River Adventure, um, again, We'll go back to check actual dinosaurs, and it features an 85-foot drop. So, again, be careful. You might get a little wet on that one, but it's definitely a fun attraction. And just like Universal Studios, we do have, besides just our major thrill attractions, we do have great epic family attractions, like Deadly Drake, Ripsaw Falls, and Popeye and Pluto's Village Rat Barges. Both of those you will get wet on, but a lot of fun. The Cat in the Hat is going to be great for the whole family. Light of the Hippogriff is basically our coaster um, that's going to be a little bit more family oriented from our high potential creature more of adventure. And last but not least, Raptor Encounter, which will bring you up close and uh, personal with Blue and other raptors from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World series. Now, I did mention, besides Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, we do have Universal's Volcano Bay Water theme park. So this is going to be not just a water park, it is honestly so much more. Um, it really feels like an all-inclusive relaxing resort. Um, we do have a lot of really great attractions and it's a variety from lazy rivers to wave pools. Um, we have body slides, we have family tube slides, um, we have you know all different types of styles. So again, you're gonna have to find something for the entire family. And the nice thing is we made it nice and easy for you where you don't have to carry your tube up to the top of the ride. It gets brought up there for you. 
Um, some more epic attractions, the Krakatau Aqua Coaster is basically a water roller coaster. Coaster Body Plunge, if you are more of the brave souls, you will get dropped through the heart of the volcano straight down. Talentine New Serpentine Body Slides, again, are also going to drop you and you're going to race through the heart of the volcano. Plumba Racers, where you will slide down body slides and race to the bottom. Kiowa, the Fearless River, is going to take um, your Lazy River experience to the next level. Um, they added rapids and like swirls, everything, and it basically carries you around. And, I mean, you don't even have to swim. It's just going to carry you around in the rapids. It is so much fun. Um, if you're looking for something a little more adventurous than the Lazy River, oh yeah and oh no drop slides. These are body slides that are going to drop you four or six feet into a 10 foot pool. So you definitely will be saying, oh yeah, or no, no, depending on um, how, how far you're dropping into the pool. And then we have Kanawha tubes, which is going to be single or double rider tubes. Um, then there's four different types of slides that intertwine amongst each other. And of course, what we do with our family attractions, we have Bonamucca Reef and Tatiki Reef for the little ones. So they'll have their own splash area where they can run around and there's little slides and you know water splash areas for them to hang out. Hano Eco Moana is going to be our family raft rides where you guys can ride all together as a family. The Kofigo Y Winding River, again, is our lazy river where you can just relax, take it easy, and float around in your own personal tube. And then we have Makupuhihi Round Raft Rides. Again, some more other family raft rides together. So it allows you to ride with your whole family and experience the fun together. And Watsuri Beach, which is beautiful. You get a view of the volcano. And we have our super fun wave pool, which actually generates different types of waves um, about every, you know, 10 minutes or so. There's a different type of wave. Um, so it's definitely something to check out and relax. Now, we've talked about our parks. We've talked about Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and we've talked about Volcano Bay. So when you're done hanging out at the parks all day or you'll be something that you want to stay off if you're not at the parks, we do have Universal City Walk for Lingo. So as you can see here, um, this is just showing you some of the things we have. So we have tons of restaurants. We have quick service and full service sit down restaurants. Um, we have all different types of food. Um, we have antihitos. We do have more of a Mexican style. NBC Grill and Brew is going to have more of the pub bar type food options. Um, you're going to have Hard Rock Cafe, which is going to be for familiar with any of the Hard Rock Cafes, you know, around um, the world. Definitely a huge menu with different types of food options. Um, Tucson's Chocolate Emporium, must do, especially for families. Um, it basically puts you in the heart of a Steamboat Chocolate Emporium. So again, um, they also have delicious 24-ounce milkshakes, which I definitely recommend checking out. And if you are a fan of donuts, I definitely recommend checking out Voodoo Donuts. Um, we have one of very few locations in the United States. And we also have our own specific donut. Uh, we do have the Orange Creamsicle Donut that is specific to Universal Orlando Resort. And they come up with donuts for special occasions throughout the year. So if you're here for one, definitely check out the special um, donuts that we have available. So like I said, at dining, we do offer 12 full service venues and 16 quick service venues. So again, if you want to leave during the park during the day, you can go grab a bite to eat or eat later at night. Um, different entertainment options. Um, we do offer Blue Man Group, which right now is not available due to COVID, but hopefully we'll get that back up eventually. Um, Hard Rock Lab will do some performances in the theater area. We do have Universal Cinemark Theater, um, which was just um, taken over by Cinemark recently, and they put in the beautiful, comfy, leather-like lounge chairs um, so you feel like you're really reclining and relaxing when you're seeing the movie. We do have Hollywood Driving Golf, and we actually have two separate courses. Um, so again, you can pick either one, or you can do both, and then you can have those different um, golf courses, which are really fun for the whole family. And we do also have five different nightclubs. So again, if you're looking for that late night, um, we do have nightclubs such as the Groove or the Red Coconut Club. Um, we do have variety of star, which is a karaoke club. Um, we even have backup singers and musicians that play for you. Um, so just a couple of really fun different options for you know evening entertainment. Now also at Universal, besides just the parks. Um, throughout the year, we offer different types of special events. Um, those special events are going to be our Mardi Gras event, which is usually runs around the February to March time frame. Um, then we have our Holly Horror Nights in the fall area, which usually will run from about September to the beginning of November. And then we will have the holidays at Universal, which will usually run um, about the you know middle to end of November through about the beginning of January. Um, so definitely if you're here at those times of the year, definitely check out what's going on. A lot of the stuff we have in our special events, we offer a lot that's included in your actual day admission. So you don't have to pay anything extra for some of it. One of those great experiences that we have that's going to be coming up very soon 
is our Mardi Gras. Um, it's a little bit different this year, but we're really excited. We're going to be debuting Mardi Gras 2021 International Flavors of Carnival. So what are you going to be able to experience while you're in the park? Well, if you're visiting with us between February 6th and March 28th, we're going to have Mardi Gras in the whole park. So we're going to have some of our beautiful floats that we have in our traditional Mardi Gras parade, which we don't have right now, but they will be on display around the park. So you can check them out, take pictures, and get to see them up close and personal. And we're also going to be still having our street entertainment, our roving musicians, beads, and more throughout the park. So there'll be a lot of fun and partying going throughout the park while you're here. Again, our Mardi Gras is family friendly. So, you know, great fun for the whole family. And this year we're going to um, be adding a lot of different um, more food elements. Um, so again, that's where we come in with the flavors of Carnival. So we're going to have different food from countries around the world. Um, so again, things like Puerto Rico, Germany, Trinidad and Tobago and New Orleans to name a few. Um, so again, different foods here. And to give you an idea of some of the other ones, again, Spain, Belgium, the Bahamas, Brazil, Cuba, Canada, Italy, Colombia, France. You can see food from all over. So again, it's not going to be just your you know, traditional New Orleans, Mardi Gras and Carnival style. They're going to have food from around the world. So if you want to come and check out and see what we have to offer, definitely come check out Mardi Gras. And last but not least, during Mardi Gras, we're going to have our Mardi Gras tribute store. So if you're not familiar, um, usually for Halloween Horror Nights, we have a tribute store where we have merchandise and things to that specific event. We also have done it for the holidays as well. Um, so we're actually going to be carrying over again this year with Mardi Gras. So we're going to have exclusive in-park merchandise that you can purchase in our Mardi Gras tribute store, which is going to be in Universal Studios in our New York area. We're going to have three themed rooms. Um, one will be a 1920s jazz parlor. We will have a flower-filled nautical cemetery. And we're also going to have a waterfront warehouse. Besides just those themed rooms, we're also going to feature um, delicious treats that are going to be themed to Mardi Gras. Um, and they always come up with really, really fun themed um, delicious treats to check out. But I'm telling you, when, they, when I say these rooms are themed, they are themed to a T. Um, I would even recommend even just going to the store just to check it out. Um, it's worth the experience alone just to go in and see what we have to offer. Now, I know I've gone on here and I've talked about the park, water park, our city walk entertainment, and our special events. So why should you consider Universal when you're planning a vacation? Well, first off, state of the art attractions. So we always are trying to come up with the new, the latest, the greatest, the most exciting um, attractions for you. Um, so like I said, Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure is our most recent, again, incorporating vertical drops, multiple, um, you know, launches, you know, having those um, characters up close and personal for you to check out from Hagrid to Fluffy to the Blast Ended Screw. Definitely want to check those out. Um, again, we have save our, our attractions uh, throughout both parks, um, I recommend checking them out. Um, it kind of just makes you feel like, you know, you don't know what's real and what is, you know, reality. Uh, we have amazingly themed resort hotels. Um, so from our premier ends, we have hotels for Portofino, Italy. Um, it feels like a hard rock, um, at the hard rock, it's a rock star's mansion, low girl Pacific. It feels like you're in that Polynesian Tahitian vibe. Um, then we have Sapphire Falls will take you to the Caribbean. Um, Cabana Bay is going to take you back to the 1960s. Um, you're going to have Aventura, which is like a sleek, modern hotel um, that's very tech-heavy. You find in like Miami or New York. And then last but not least, our value resorts of Endless Summer, um, Dockside Inn Suites and Surfside Inn Suites will make you feel like you're out on a day on the waves or you're sitting at the dock at sunrise or sunset. Um, great options from, you know, value to premier to whatever you're looking for in resorts. The other thing that's really great too is just not that we have just standard rooms, but we offer different room styles. We offer family suites that can accommodate up to six guests. Um, we do offer um, our preferred and premier properties can um, sleep up to five guests in a standard room. Um, we do have two bedroom family suites at um, Cabana Bay that sleep up to eight. So, and then we also do offer connecting rooms. So if you guys do have larger families or you guys wanna travel you know, for more of extended family vacations, we are able to accommodate them at our Universal Resorts. Again, fun for all ages. Um, Universal is great for kids, teens, tweens, young adults, adults, um, young, young at heart. Um, it's really great, a lot of fun for all ages. Um, it's a great option because we have, you know, those attractions like Cat in the Hat. We have, you know, our, you know, first coasters can be Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster or Flight of the Hippogriff um, that you can check out and enjoy. 
Um, we do have, you know, those bigger attractions when they get older that they can check out, like, you know, E.T. And we have Transformers and Spider-Man and Men in Black. And then you have the more, you know, when they, you know, as you get older, you can go into the bigger roller coasters, like Hollywood Roof Ride Rocket, The Incredible Hulk, um, you know, just a lot of experiences. So, again, if you're looking for, you know, a lot of fun for the whole family and you want to be able to have a really epic adventure on your vacation and something maybe not being normal, a little bit, you know, just fun and adventurous, I definitely recommend checking out Universal Orlando Resort. Um, it is a great destination. There's so much fun to be had, um, whether it's in from the resort to the parks um, to our city walk destination. It is a lot of fun. Um, so I know that was a lot to say experience today, but there's so much more. So we definitely recommend checking out Universal Orlando Resort. It is a great place to be. And I thank you guys so much for spending the time with me today to teach you a little bit about Universal Orlando Resort. Um, it is so much fun. It's a great destination. And thank you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer them for you um, and let you know so that way you can have all the information you need before planning your universal vacation. Oh, thank you. thank you so much, Alexis. This was really great. I loved all the information about the parks and the updates on the rides. Um, I went to Harry Potter's uh, Wizarding World when, when it first opened. And I was blown away. I thought it was so cool. Um, loved the butterbeer. And um, I, I just think that it's any, any fan should, should take the time to go because it's just so amazing. And I, I haven't seen um, the enhancements since then. So it's time for me to get back there. I don't see any questions coming up right now in the chat, but I do want to thank you, Alexis, for spending the time with us today. And for any of you who are watching, um, you can always reach out to your travel advisor here at Travel Leaders Market Square. We are more than happy to answer your questions and help you and your family get on one of these amazing Universal Orlando Resort vacations. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank Bye -bye. you.